Being a firefighter is an incredibly honorable, but at the same time dangerous occupation. For fire, unlike everything else, knows no doubt or mercy. It is the games about these fearless and respected people that this material is dedicated to. Emergency 20 Emergency is a series of realistic fire service simulation games on PC that has been produced by 16 Tons Entertainment since 1998. The latest installment in the series, Emergency 20, was released in 2017 and is currently available on Steam. In fact, this is a highly realistic simulator that has absorbed all the experience of developers who have been producing fire station simulators operating in the United States for more than two decades. In the gameplay of Emergency, the player controls the personnel and equipment of the rescue service, and this is not only firefighters but also ambulances, police, and other emergency rescue services. Firewatch An adventure game released in 2016 for PC and other platforms. The main character is Fireman Henry, who monitors the state of forests in Shoshone National Park, Wyoming, from a fire tower around the absolute wilderness and complete loneliness. Hundreds of kilometers of forest and not a single other person. Communication with the outside world, only through the radio station. All that remains for the hero is to vigilantly monitor the standing of the surrounding nature in conditions of a very dry and hot summer, meditate while walking through picturesque places, and solve all sorts of interesting puzzles. Firefighters 2014 a fire brigade simulator from Visual Imagination Software, released on PC in 2014. Very realistic and intense, it is dedicated to the direct control over the transport and personnel of firefighters who go out to respond to calls in connection with natural and man-made disasters, explosions, traffic accidents, fires and so on. All emergency events will occur randomly in a huge open world, including urban and rural environments. Moreover, Everything can happen not only at a particular facility but also in a vast open area, an unknown section of the railway or even in the subway. The task of the player, as the head of the fire brigade, is to localize the point of the incident, arrive at the scene in a timely manner, and, competently using the available human and technical resources, eliminate the emergency. Flashing Lights, Police, Firefighting, Emergency Services Simulator Realistic Emergency Rescue Simulator, released on PC in 2018. Fully 3D open-world game with modern graphics in which the player has to lead the actions of the police, firemen, and ambulance. The player acts as a representative of one of the three listed services, freely patrolling the detailed open world and promptly responding to emergency calls from the dispatcher. Each service has a wide range of unique technical and vehicles available to the player and are identical to those used by modern real-world rescuers. The game has several modes, including a single-player mode with a sandbox world and random tasks, as well as multiplayer for online play with friends. Rescue HQ The Tycoon, another computer game about American rescue services, similar in variety and scope to Flashing Lights Police, Firefighting, Emergency Services Simulator. But if the last game is a pure realistic open-world simulator with a lot of controllable vehicles, then Rescue HQ the Tycoon is a classic manager. This means that the player cannot directly manage vehicles and personnel, but can equip the service headquarters and way stations, arranging the layout of premises, purchasing vehicles and equipment, distributing tasks among subordinates and so on. In total, there are three main structural units, police, ambulance, and of course, firefighters, each of which has its own professional duties. The only downside to Rescue HQ the Tycoon is that despite being released in 2019, it uses specific low-poly graphics, which may turn some players off. Emergency Call 112 A realistic simulator dedicated to the work of a fire brigade in a large modern city. Emergency Call 112 offers a large detailed open world with random events and a large fleet of special vehicles available for direct player control. That is, there is a significant element of a car simulator. One of the rare simulators that above all puts not the fascination of the gameplay, but realism and reliability. To achieve this, the developers of Emergency Call 112, the game is also known as Natruf 112, even invited real members of the German Fire Brigade to participate in the development. All the action, by the way, takes place in a detailed modeled version of the German city of Mulheim, 
known for one of the largest and most well-equipped fire stations in all of Western Europe. Simulator of the Operator of the American Rescue Service 911 The player acts directly as an operator who receives a variety of corners from all over the country, immediately sorts them, makes decisions and then, based on them, sends ambulances, police or firefighters to the specified addresses. At the same time, the challenges themselves are of particular interest and excitement when the player, by outside help, needs to determine who he is dealing with and what is the true degree of danger. After all, the caller can be not only the victim or witness of the crime, but also just a grumpy neighbor, a stupid joker, or even the criminal himself, covering his tracks or preparing an insidious deadly trap for the outfit traveling on call. One hundred twelve operator, a sequel to the game described above, also developed by Jutsu Games specifically for PC in two thousand twenty. The gameplay and surroundings of the game are still the same, but the region of the scene has changed significantly. If earlier everything happened in North America, then in 112 Operator it will be necessary to save people in Europe and Asia. There are many cities to choose from, including London, Madrid, Warsaw, Moscow, Paris, Istanbul and other world centers with a population of many millions. There are additional mode settings. Now, you can maintain safety both in a single quiet district and in the entire huge city, icing under your control the work of several dispatch centers at once. In this case, it is necessary to take into account many factors that are not always obvious, such as weather conditions, road congestion, terrain complexity and so on. There was such a nice feature as a three-dimensional visualization of the ongoing rescue operation. Firefighters, the simulation. Simulator from VAS Games, released on PC in 2012. One of the first serious games that allows gamers to try on the uniform of firefighters and take part in the actions of a professional fire brigade, leaving for emergency calls and participating in the elimination of huge fires, explosions and fires of various types. All events take place in an open world and are random in nature, while the player takes on the role of a firefighter with a first-person view. He not only fights the fire element, but also drives various types of heavy specialized vehicles. It is noteworthy that a very important sign here is the object where the emergency happened. Firstly, they are all located on a huge game map of the city and have different distances from the fire station. Secondly, fires at different facilities have different degrees of threat. A fire at a nuclear power plant is much more serious than smoke over an abandoned barn and will have a much higher priority. In addition, for certain objects and conditions, certain special equipment may be needed. For example, a special tank for pumping out a toxic substance or a controlled robot with an eyepiece camera. Airport Firefighters – The Simulation A first-person simulator dedicated to the Airport Fire Brigade, whose task is to fight the raging flames in airplanes and terminals. The gameplay consists of driving various vehicles and using all kinds of water guns of different power. Sometimes you will have to resort to the use of hand hoses and fire extinguishers, as well as climb into a burning building yourself or demolish an obstacle that has arisen in the way with a fire axe. The most exciting tasks are the trip to the crashed planes and helicopters, when it depends on a matter of seconds whether the brigade will be able to save the lives of the passengers who miraculously survived the fall or whether it will take away that insignificant ghostly chance for salvation that fate gave them. Plant Fire Department – The Simulation A game about the fire safety officers of a huge factory complex, who have at their disposal the most modern vehicles and all kinds of firefighting equipment. No worse than professional municipal fire departments. The game Plant Fire Department – The Simulation came out back in 2012, so the level of graphics here is far from the most ideal by today's standards. But the gameplay itself is implemented quite well, with a first-person view and an emphasis on realism. The variety of emergencies here is quite large, from small fires and smoke to monstrous explosions and large leaks of flammable materials. The only thing the game really lacks is a cooperative mode for playing with a friend. Rescue 2 – Everyday Heroes a game about firefighters, released on PC in 2015, combines elements of real-time strategy and simulation, offering firefighting in an open dynamic city, 
reconstructed in 3D to fight the fire and rescue two everyday heroes. There are several fire stations with their own fire brigades and unique equipment designed to perform specific tasks. Rescue Two Everyday Heroes has an interesting career mode that allows you to start by managing one small fire station and gradually unlock others, becoming the real fire chief of a huge metropolis. A small nice feature of Rescue Two is that the game provides official support for the Russian language. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, press like, Turn on notifications and you will always be aware of what to play today.